guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the finale for the 100 Colourful Empties project pan that I did. I did this on my own based off of the 100 Colourful Empties project pan that was going around a few years ago. I just, I never did it back then and I wanted to do it this year so that is what I did. I didn't finish all 100 items but I did finish a huge chunk. So we'll go through what was left and then we'll count up the numbers and I'll let you know how many I used up, how many I decluttered and how many I had left over. Okay, so the first category was black and for the first black item we had the Aribe dry texturizing spray. I decluttered that one. So the next item then was the Tresemme heat protectant spray. When this originally got put in it weighed 55 grams and at the finale it weighs 37 grams. So that is that one. The next item was this. This is the Avon Black Super Shock Gel Eyelining Pencil and we are finishing. Uh, okay, I sharpened it so it looks like the progress is less than it actually is, but this is where we're finishing. As you can see the progress is like more than it is, but that's only because I sharpened it and so the point is pointier than it was when I measured it, but that is where we're finishing. So that is that item. Then we had a sheet mask which I decluttered. So the next item is the Cow Shed Cow Pat Moisturizing Hand Cream. I didn't get around to using this hand cream so this still weighs the original 58 grams. Then we had the Superdrug Charcoal Tooth Whitening Powder and this originally weighed 41 grams and now currently weighs 38 grams at the finale. The next item was the Lush Egg no Yog Nog Shower Gel. I finished that up and the the elf lip scrub which I decluttered. So the last black item is the Soap and Glory Split Happens Conditioning Styling Oil and we are finishing at this second gold line just there. So the next category is blue and the first blue item was this. This is the Different Dimension Nail Polish in the shade March 2018 and I didn't use this the whole year because I was focusing on other nail polishes this year so we are starting and finishing at the gold line just there. There was a few sheet masks, two of them I decluttered, one of them I used. There was an eye pencil which I finished, there was a dry shampoo which I finished, there was a foot spray which I finished, there was a toner which I finished, and then there was this, the Moroccan treatment hair oil which I didn't touch. So it's either finished, decluttered, or I didn't touch it, apparently. And that is still brand new. As you can see, it's got the seal on it, so. And the last boot item is this. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And we started at the top blue line and we're finishing at the bottom blue line there. I just realized that there was a black item I didn't show you. It is the Ghost Perfume. And we are finishing at this second gold line here because I didn't use it since the last update. So that is that one. So the next category was for orange. And the first orange item was this. This is the Walls Solero Scented Nail Polish that's been in various different project pans throughout the year. And it was still at that mark there. These polishes, they don't show progress very easily. Even though I've used this a few times, it's not showing any progress. So I'm just gonna keep using it until suddenly it doesn't work anymore so that is that and th then there was the L'Oreal conditioner I used that up there was a soap and glory mask I used that there was a sheet mask I used that there was some body lotion I used that and we have the sweet orange essential oil which is finishing at the second gold line just there the first one is there this is the second one then there was a hair oil this is the system solar sun oil for luxurious hair protection we are actually finishing just under the gold line I'd say around here we're finishing but you can't tell because the label goes all the way around so I'm just kind of estimating but that is that one. Then we have the Body Shop Pumpkin Body Butter. This did weigh 222 grams when we put it in the project and now it weighs 219 grams and that is what it looks like inside. So that is that one. Then there was a leave-in conditioner which I finished and a deodorant which I finished. So for yellow, we had the Clinique moisturizer which I'm so close to finishing. That is literally all I have left. So every time I use it, I just pat a little bit out, but I was really close to finishing this this year. This will definitely be gone in 2021, which I'm kind of happy about because it's older in my collection. That's that one. Then we had two eyeshadows from the Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. We had the Honey Buns, which is the yellow, and the Honey Brittle, which is the pinky shade just below it. I didn't hit goal on either of these items. I wanted to hit pan. Honey Brittle is kind of close, like it's got a really big dip there, but the yellow I used only a handful of times. So that is that one. Then we had a body lotion which I finished, a sheet mask which I finished, a lip balm which I finished. 
So the next item is this. This is the Revolution Caffeine Energizing Essence Spray. And this was kind of brand new when we put it in. It was kind of up to the top here. And now we are at this blue line all the way down there. So I didn't quite get it done. This is another item that will be out of my collection in 2021. The next item was a body butter. And this one I know I definitely didn't touch. This is the Champneys A Little Pick Me Up Body Butter. This originally weighed 59 grams and still weighs the 59 grams. Then we have a hand cream. This is the Avon Naturals Body Care Milk and Honey Hand Cream. And we started at the top blue line and now we're at the second blue line there. And the last yellow item is this. This is the PS Lemon Twist Antibacterial Hand Gel. And we are at the second gold line just there. It was all the way up here. So the next category was pink. And for pink, I had a couple of lip products. I had the Lacquer and Company Cheeky Lip Pencil in Humble Brag, which is starting and finishing at that mark there. I also had the uh, Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade Obsessed, which is finishing at just under the last mark that I made. We also had the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume, which if you've watched my channel, you know this was in other project pans as well. And we are finishing just below the last blue line at the bottom there. So we are here, and that was the last line that I made. I haven't marked it yet. Then we had my color tattoo, which I finished, a nail polish, which I finished, a sheet mask, which I finished, a hand cream, which I decluttered, a antibacterial hand gel, which I finished, and there was a body butter and a lip pencil. So we have the Soap and Glory body butter. I didn't touch this, so it still weighs the original weight of 70 grams. And another item I didn't use was the LOC lip pencil in the shade Bohemian Rose. So the next category was green, and we had a leave-in conditioner, which I finished, a texturizing spray, which I finished. Then we had MAC Fix Plus, which we are finishing at the gold mark on here, just there. Then we had a, sheet, a couple of sheet masks, which I finished, a foot cream, which I finished, a body lotion, which I didn't touch. So we are starting and finishing at the blue line up here. This is the Coconut Lime by Superdrug. We had a hot cloth cleanser, which I finished. We had a hand cream, which I haven't touched, so it still weighs the original weight of 47 grams. And we had a brightening day cream. This originally weighed 90 grams and now it weighs 87 grams. So the next category was purple, and the first purple item is this. This is the Avon Planet Spa Relaxing Province Spa Hand Cream, and we started at this blue line here, and we're finishing at this blue line here. The next item is another one of those mini polishes. I didn't use this the whole year just because I went to use it and then it turned out to be different than I expected. So I didn't then reach for it because it wasn't what I was reaching for at that time. So I just didn't use this the whole year. So that is that one. Then we have the Generation Clay Brightening Purple Clay Mask. I didn't touch this either. So this is still weighs 114 grams. There was, a, there was a body butter, which is in my bathroom right now, and I'm not gonna go and get it because I didn't touch it, so it's just effort to go and get it to show you that I didn't touch it. So that originally weighed 408 grams, still weighs 408 grams, didn't touch it the whole project, but that was the 10th purple item. So we also have this. This is the Revolution Super Fruit Replenishing Essence Spray, and we are finishing at the blue line just there. And the last purple item is this. This is the Nail Medic Rejuvenator Cuticle and Nail Energizer. And we are finishing at the last blue line and we started all the way at the top under the Nail Medic at the black line there. So the next category was white. And the first white item is the Mixer Seeker Repair Balm. And we started at the blue line and now we're at the second blue line there. Then we had an eye makeup remover, which I finished. Then we had an eye cream. And it was the Honest Beauty Instant Plump Eye Cream. This originally weighed 19 grams when we put it in the project. And it now weighs 15 grams. We had a conditioner, which I finished. We had the Roots Promote Hair Health Conditioning Styling Spray. And we started the black mark and then got down to the blue mark just there. And then we also had the Roots Promote Hair Health Heat Protectant Spray. And we didn't touch this, so we are at the black mark there. Then we had a day cream, which also did not get used, so we are still at the blue mark on this one. Then we had a peel, which I finished, a cleanser, which I finished, and we had a mask, which again, I did not touch, so we're at the blue line. 
for that one. The next category was for silver. And for silver, we had a Frizzies product, which I finished. And then we had this. This is the Polar Hand Cream. And it was brand new when I started. And this was all plump full of air. And now we can bend it and flex it. So you can tell that I've used some. And it's still got a little bit of air. I think I'm about here. But I didn't want to go ahead and mark it. Because one, it's the kind of packaging where the mark will just wipe off anyway. And two, I didn't know exactly where I was. And you can't see through the packaging. So that is that one. So I just noticed, I was about to move on, that I actually weighed this. And that's how I was tracking it. So it originally weighed 31 grams. And now it weighs 26 grams. So I have used up some. The next item was some wipes. Then there was this. This I did not touch, so we're still at the blue mark up here. Then there was the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. I didn't touch this, so this still weighs 147 grams. Then there was a sheet mask, which I finished. Then there was a body butter, which I did not touch. It is this body butter, and it still weighs 260 grams. And I think it's, yeah, it's still sealed, so. And we also had an eyeshadow, which I did not touch, and this is the Moondust Eyeshadow in the shade Intergalactic. And the last category is red. The first red item is this hand cream. This originally weighed 110 grams and now it weighs 105 grams. We have the Revolution Hyaluronic Essence Spray. I didn't touch this, so we are still at the mark here. Although we are slightly below the mark. I may have used it once or twice. Then we had a foot cream, which I finished, a body lotion, which I finished, a nail polish, which I did not use all year. It is this nail polish and this is in the shade Ruby. So this is still brand new. We had a liquid lipstick. It is the Meet Matt Hughes liquid lipstick in the shade Loyal. This originally weighed seven grams. And when I weighed it just now, it's teetering on six or seven grams. I have been using this, not as much as I'd like, but definitely more than any other shade in the month of December, just because of Christmas and I like wearing reds in December. So it did get some use, which I'm happy about. And I also paired it with the lip liner, which also has got some use. I don't know if it's gonna be able to see on the paper because I sharpened it, so it's probably Probably gonna be like pointed rather than showing you the actual progress but I will show you against the paper anyway or you can kind of see a little bit just bear in mind that if it was blunt there would be more progress but we are finishing there okay so we also had the cortisone 10 cream which I said at the very beginning if I don't find a use for this then I'm not going to use it for the sake of using it because it's a medicated cream so I'm not going to force myself to use it if I don't need it so that is that one we had a lip balm which is this this is the butter kissed chocolate popcorn lip balm and that is all we have left I probably could have got this finished, to be honest, if I'd have known that that's all that was left. But that's my bad. And this is where we're finishing. So the last item then is the body lotion. This is the Avon Naturals Sunny Strawberry and Guava Body Lotion. This, again, is another item that was in two projects, but it didn't mean that I used it any more than I did. So we are finishing this project at this blue line here because I've not used it since my last update for the Columbia Project Pan. So that is that. And that concludes all the items that are left in this project. I'm going to go through and I'm going to count how many we used up versus how many we decluttered, and I will give you the final numbers. Okay, so I've run the numbers and I completed, finished, completely used up 37 items in this project and I decluttered eight items, which means that that is a total of 45 out of 100 items that I got out of my collection in 2020, not just from this project pan. So I'm really happy with that number. I was kind of hoping that it'd be more than half, but it is what it is. I'm still happy with it. It's a really high number. When you think about 45 items gone from my collection, that's incredible. So really really pleased with myself for this particular project. I'm not going to be doing it in 2021. I will probably do something different. I missed out on some projects this year that I would have liked to have done and I don't want to do that again by focusing on this such a big project. So I will be doing other big projects but I'll probably do them as collabs rather than just a singular big project on my own and then miss out on some great projects. So that is what I'm going to do in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Please let me know if you did. Take care and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.